fishing this weekend. You may have a little rain to contend with, but hey, Joseph, from what I understand, fish like to bite in the rain, so maybe that's perfect. That's what I hear all the time, too. I just don't fish enough to know if it's true, but there's going to be some moments tomorrow where there's going to be probably some light rain, but there's also going to be time frame where it's probably going to be a bit too heavy and there's also a risk for maybe some thunderstorms. So I do want to be uh, pretty clear about that just in case you do want to get out and do some fishing for tomorrow. We do have another round of showers. They're going to be heavier than what we had for today. We had a brief moment here or there. Uh, fleeting showers for the most part, though, as we went through the course of today. Multiple chances for some rain uh, outside of our Sunday. That's going to actually extend into the work week. And with that, that means we probably have a chance for some cooler weather and some clouds kind of hang around. All right, 68 degrees was our high today in Portland, near 70 coming out of Vancouver. 60s, though, up and down the Willamette Valley, some 50s there along the Oregon coast. The normal high is 72. We may see that once or twice in the next five days. Uh, you can see tonight we've cooled down to 54 over the last 24 hours, or compared to 24 hours ago, I should say. It's 10 degrees cooler, so that cold air is kind of settling in. We haven't had an overnight temperature falling down to maybe the upper 40s in, in, in quite a while because we had this stretch right here. We had this span of time where we were in the 80s and 90s, so our overnight temperatures were in the 60s. We, in fact, broke a record. Uh, on the first where we had a, a morning temperature at 65 and then the afternoon temperature was at 95. All right, current conditions, as I mentioned, in the 50s. We'll see clouds increasing, so keep that uh, in mind through the overnight, but not bringing the rain just yet. There's a couple spotty showers still to the north, maybe out to the Oregon coast, uh, but they're going to be very light and they're mainly falling apart. We're watching this system right here that's still gathering and, and getting organized and moving in our direction, and that will arrive through the day tomorrow. Watch the weather pattern, though. We have that little brief moment as we go into tomorrow, but then we have another trough right here diving down, and it kind of hangs right off the coast as we go into Monday and Tuesday and through most of the week. So that's why it's going to be a bit cool. We have that chance for some rain. And then heading into Friday, look at that, another one right behind it. The thing is, it's a little too far to the west for us to really see that soaking rain, but we'll see. Uh, if we could bring uh, some more action into our, our picture as we go through the next uh, five to seven days. All right, future cast through the overnight. There's the clouds I was mentioning increasing. Here's the light rain showers at 8 a.m. from Astoria down. Here comes that front, and it really starts to move in as we go into the afternoon hours. This is going to be the period of time where the wind picks up, maybe 25, 30 miles per hour, and it may even gust to the 40, 50 mile per hour range here. So that's something that could be very isolated and breezy. So that's why you may not want to be out fishing for that because it's going to be breezy and we may even get a couple thunderstorms there. We get to Monday, a couple spotty showers, and then they kind of hang on on Tuesday. As I mentioned, we have that trough there along the Oregon coast, which keeps conditions unsettled. All right, 66 degrees on Wednesday, 72 on Thursday. Friday, we have some 60s and 70s there on Saturday. But Wayne, again, tomorrow, a little breezy, a little wet, especially the afternoon. It'll be a nice change. All right. Thank you, Joseph. Well,